Hello friends, are you travel lover? If yes then, we are going to share the 20 best places to visit in 2024. Welcome to The Facts World. With a world full of fascinating travel destinations, choosing the perfect vacation spot can present a challenge. That's why The Facts World used expert opinions, reader votes and current trends, and evaluated sites, cultures, scenic beauty, food options, and more to compile this list of the world's best places to visit. Use these recommendations to craft your travel bucket list and cast your vote below to help us determine next year's ranking. Note, if you're booking a big ticket trip, consider international travel insurance to protect your investment. Number 20. Sydney. Why go to Sydney? Sydney is both a laid-back beachside city and a thriving metropolis that boasts some of the Southern Hemisphere's best surf, landmarks and activities. Whether you're looking to watch a show at the iconic Sydney Opera House, take to the waves at Bondi Beach or explore trendy areas like the Rocks and Darling Harbour, Sydney features something for everyone. Even Sydney ciders have an ideal mix of both worlds. Fashion-forward attire combines with a relaxed coastal vibe and no worries attitude. It's no wonder this vibrant city down under is a natural choice for first-time Aussie visitors. Number 19. St. Lucia. Lush and spoiled St. Lucia is a hit with travelers of all kinds. Some of its vacationers are music lovers, letting loose at the springtime St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. Meanwhile, adrenaline junkies test their limits by climbing the pitons or ziplining through the chassis. Regions rainforest, others are honeymooners, and winding on one of the island's chalky beaches or hauling up in one of its isolated resorts. Number 18. Barcelona. Why go to Barcelona? Barcelona contains both the authentically historic and the wildly bizarre. From the scenic trails of the colorful Park Gel to the romantic narrow alleys of the Bari Gothic, this city by the sea seems to attract all types, the adventurer, the romantic, the partier, the culture lover, with an almost overwhelming variety of things to do. You could stay for a few days exploring its architectural marvels, but chances are you'll need a whole week to explore. And while the beach lures locals and visitors in droves, it's the cosmopolitan city that really dazzles. Much of the activity revolves around the Soutat Vela, or Old City, a series of narrow streets and alleys packed with restaurants, cafes and nightclubs, and the home of Las Ramblers. Number 17. Amsterdam. Don't believe everything you hear about Amsterdam, yes. This Netherlands city takes a lax look at women beckoning business in the red light district, and coffee shops selling an unorthodox type of herb to a token clientele. But these descriptions only scratch the surface at some point. During an excellent Indonesian meal, a twilight canal side rambling or a shopping excursion through the boutiques of nine little streets, you'll realize, as many travelers have before you, that there's much more to Amsterdam than you might have thought. Number 16. Great Barrier Reef. As one of the original seven natural wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef holds a spot on every traveler's bucket list. Hugging the east coast of Queensland, Australia, the Great Barrier Reef extends from Cape York in the north all the way to Bundaberg in the south, more than 1,800 miles, with roughly 2,900 coral reefs, 600 islands, and 1,500 plus species of fish. The reef leaves its 2 million annual visitors in Chanid, wherever you decide to hang your hat. The Great Barrier Reef is a treasure trove of once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Whether you're gazing at marine life through a scuba mask, letting the tropical breeze unfurl your sail or taking in the reef from a plane, the possibilities for exploration are nearly limitless. Number 15. Banff. If you're itching to experience the lifestyle of a Swiss skiing village, but don't want to fork over the cash for a transatlantic flight, consider Banff. Thanks to its location in the heart of the Canadian Rockies, near the southeastern border of Banff. National Park. Canada's first national park, taking trips here will decrease. Not only your flight time from the US, but also your expenses, although only marginally. Banff caters to intrepid explorers who prefer to end the day. In a nice hotel, other than roughing it at the campgrounds though, there are plenty of those. 2. Opportunities for adventure abound. So pick your sport, ski down Mount Norkay, hike to the massive, freestanding limestone pillars known as the Hoodoos. Scramble up the face of the stony Squaw Mountain or bike along Healy Creek. When you are exhausted, 
retreat to your cozy and warm resort, and replenish yourself with a hefty helping of bison meat. Number 14. Tahiti. Miles of shoreline, dozens of resorts. French cuisine to die for, Tahiti has all the makings of a honeymoon destination. But beach bums often pass over Tahiti's sands in favor of Bora Bora's ivory shores. Despite its idyllic reputation and accessibility, Tahiti is often more of a stopover point en route to romantic getaways on smaller islands. However, that doesn't mean Tahiti should be ignored. Leafy forests sit beside sandy shores, while French crepes are served alongside Tahitian poison crew raw fish. If there ever was a place that embodies the beautiful duality of the French Polynesian archipelago, it's Tahiti. Here, the quirky, often chaotic atmosphere of the island's capital, Papeete, rubs elbows with uncorrupted natural beauty. Number 13. South Island, New Zealand. Whether it's the area's famed adventure destinations, dreamy alpine adventures and colorful hiking routes, or simply a tranquil, healing escape from the hurdles of recent pandemic years. New Zealand's South Island has something for every traveler, and with the country's government, having dropped border restrictions in July 2022, following more than two years of some of the tightest entry controls in the world. Number 12. Costa Rica. To many, Costa Rica's charm lies in its lush rainforests, and spoiled beaches and abundance of wildlife with breathtaking landscapes and a myriad of creatures. From toucans to monkeys to jaguars, it's easy to see why. Where else can you hike active volcanoes, zip line through cloud-covered rainforests, and surf warm turquoise waters? Within the span of just a few days, in this compact but diverse tropical paradise, exhilarating outdoor activities are abundant. Nature seekers will roam thick jungles, while beachgoers will sprawl across the powdery sands. It's hard not to admire all the splendors, this rich coast has to offer. Number 11. Phuket. Pure white sands, aquamarine waters and limestone cliffs await travelers who visit Thailand's southwestern island of Phuket, surrounded by the Andaman Sea and about an hour by plane from Bangkok. This island is a little piece of paradise, which comes with a relatively low price tag for everything from its accommodations to spa treatments and boat tours, but along with its tropical appeal. Phuket beckons to travelers wanting to experience its flavorful cuisine think lemongrass, lime leaves, chilies, and its rich culture, heavily influenced by its reigning religion, Buddhism. Number 10. Tokyo. Animated is perhaps the best word to describe Tokyo. Crazy about its anim, Japan's mega city is constantly buzzing with movement, and yet, bright lights and loud signs beg you to pause. To break your motion for just one second to prapes, we mean pay at the altar of consumerism. This is a city that feeds on motion and progress. But when you want to stop in Tokyo, the city will certainly make it worth your while. The tech-savvy locals may whiz past the monuments and urban parks daily, except during the cherry blossom season when everyone floods the green space. But we assure you, the museums and historical sites are world-class here. There are photos to be taken, sushi to be eaten, and a lot of shopping to be done. So what are you waiting for? You better get a move on. Number 9. Turks and Caicos. The Turks and Caicos Islands have the perfect antidote. For your hectic lifestyle, blindingly white sand fringed by shimmering azure water, colorful coral reefs, crispy carch fritters, and an easygoing vibe. Despite its knack for attracting the rich and famous to its shores, Turks and Caicos holds tight to its reputation as an exclusive and secluded getaway, and regular vacationers to these skinny strips of alabaster sand will tell you that they wouldn't have it any other way. Number 8. Maldives. You've seen photos of the Maldives before. Picture perfect private villas suspended over striking blue waters, alabaster white sand beaches, and spectacular sunsets dipping into the horizon. The scenic beauty of the Maldives is something to behold. Something you can't quite understand until you're there in person. The island nation of the Maldives is popular with honeymooners, looking for seclusion, and adventurers looking to explore the depths of the sea on a scuba diving or snorkeling excursion. Travelers seeking the ultimate in relaxation can unwind at one of the many superb resort spots 
and all visitors should certainly spend an afternoon exploring an inhabited island village. To get a snapshot of typical island life, the resorts in this region are also spectacular. Ranging from underwater hotels to overwater bungalows to incredibly beautiful resorts, however, getting to and staying in this tropical paradise requires patience, there are no direct flights from the United States and plentiful cash. Located in the Indian Ocean, roughly 600 miles southwest of Sri Lanka, the Maldives is about as isolated as you can get, and that's just one of its many allures. Number 7. London, England you'll find the historic Tower of London and the avant-garde Tate Modern. You can catch both the Bard's works and modern plays at Shakespeare's Globe and its accompanying Sam Wanamaker Playhouse. And while Londoners still praise the power of tea, they now make room for Starbucks and Costa coffees here and there and press juice too. A current leader in everything from politics and banking to fashion and music, London's culture compass is always attuned to what's next. Discover it all on one of London's best tours. Number 6. Maui. Maui is not nearly as large as the Big Island, nor is it as small as Lanai, as bustling as Oahu, or as quiet as Kauai. For many Hawaii vacationers, Maui is just right, offering a taste of just about everything the Aloha State has to offer, from impressive wildlife to intriguing history and culture. While on a visit here, you can shimmy alongside professional hall or dancers, golf along coastal fairways, sail down a zip line, Snorkel alongside five different types of sea turtles. Or simply lounge along some of Hawaii's most notable beaches. Number 5. Swiss Alps. Snow-covered mountains. Charming towns and flower-strewn meadows make the Swiss Alps a year-round fairy tale destination. Visit in the winter for world-class skiing and Apers ski fondue and drinks. In locales such as the exclusive St. Moritz and the picturesque Zermatt, home of the craggy Matterhorn opt for warmer months, to hike through the verdant valleys of Swiss National Park, or attend lively festivals in the foothill city of Montreux. Regardless of the time of year, no trip would be complete without a visit to the Jungfrau region, where you can experience idyllic mountain villages, like Grindelwald and Murren, or take the Jungfrau Railway to Europe's highest railway station. Number 4. Rome. Rome, the city of seven hills, enjoyed a mythic beginning. Romulus and Remus, twin brothers, who were nursed by a she-wolf and fathered by a war god, reportedly founded the Eternal City, and although historians are a little skeptical about this epic entry into the world, most travelers are absolutely certain that there is something magical about Rome, whether it's the mystery of nearby Vatican City, or the ghosts of the Colosseum, an afternoon caffed on Piazza Navona, or a piled high plate of pasta at a trottoria. Rome is sure to enchant. Number 3. Glacier National Park. Named for the remnants of glaciers from the Ice Age. Glacier National Park is located on the border of Canada and Montana. It is often called the crown of the continent because of its dizzying array of natural beauty. A favorite spot among hikers. The park features a variety of trails for all skill levels, ranging from the easy trail of the cedars home to towering and beautiful cedars, to the challenging Grinnell Glacier, which offers sweeping views. What's more, the park boasts more than 700 lakes, numerous waterfalls and to mountain ranges, spread across more than 1 million acres that shelter a variety of wildlife. Number 2. Bora Bora. The small island of Bora Bora, just about 6 miles long, and a little more than two miles wide overflows with beauty. A dormant volcano rises up at its center and fans out into lush jungle before spilling into an aquamarine lagoon. In fact, author James Michener, who wrote tales of the South Pacific, called Bora Bora the most beautiful island in the world. The 18th century British explorer James Cook even coined it as the Pearl of the Pacific the very definition of a tropical getaway. Blissful Bora Bora abounds with luxurious resorts, sunny skies, warm waters and friendly locals. Number 1. Paris. The city of light draws millions of visitors every year, with its unforgettable ambience, of course. 
the divine cuisine and vast art collections deserve some of the credit as well. The gentle river Seine rambles through the city, flanked by stately museums, centuries-old churches, and blocks of Rococo and neoclassic design architecture, further enhanced by cascading trees and glowing street lamps, peppering the scene's cobbled walks. And graceful bridges are impossibly chic Parisians, probably on their way to the market. Café or cinema? This was our list of some best places to visit in 2024. Is there your city to in that list and tell us about your city some interesting facts? So we can make video on your city too. Tell us in comments box, have you ever visited any city? From this list, 